Today we are going to be talking about the 2024 dunk contest and how it could change NBA dunk contest in the future as well as how the dunk contest can be changed to improve and be better. So the dunk contest is today at 7 p.m. Eastern, uh, no, 8 p.m. Eastern. Now, it's the last event in this, so it'll probably actually be like later, but yeah, we have Jalen Brown, Mac McClellan, Hamid Hawkins, and Jacob Toppin as the contestants, and... I feel like this is going to be the best dunk contest since 2020. We got Mac McClung, the defending champion, who has, a, of course, a ton of tricks. Jalen Brown is the first all-star to compete since Victor Oladipo in 2018. So that's a pretty good thing because we need more all-stars to compete, more big names to compete in the dunk contest like the past. We have Michael Jordan, Dr. J, Dominique Wilkins, Clyde Drexler all competing at the same time. Jaime Jaquez is also competing, a really good rookie, so that's a good step. And Jacob Toppin, the brother of Obi Toppin, and he has hops as well. So, now, this can change the dunk contest because right now, Mike McClellan and Jacob Toppin are like technically not in the NBA, so possibly they might have some better dunkers that might not be in the NBA join the dunk contest. And of course, Jalen Brown being an all-star is paving the way back for the all-stars to join the dunk contest. Players like Zion Williamson last year said that he would, you know, maybe choose to. Anthony Edwards, maybe. John Moran said nah, but Victor Wembanyama also said he might want to join the three-point and dunk contest. That would be really fun, Zion and Victor and Mag McClung, you know, Jacob Toppin, they're not really that good names, but they're actually really good at dunking. They have some good tricks of them. So that's why it's okay if the names are not bad for some of them. But some of them, I feel like for the dunk contest, they should at least be like an all-star or something. So Jalen Brown having it for the first time in six years, an all-star competing in a dunk contest is really good. Then... We're going to be uh, talking about some changes the dunk contest can do. Now, the dunk contest since 2020 hasn't been that good. And some changes I believe can happen is probably the biggest one is to invite some other dunkers that are professional dunkers. Like Jordan Sutherland. Um... Chris Staples is kind of older now, but Jordan Kilgannon, those dunkers, uh, Jay Clark, some other really crazy dunkers. They have crazy dunks that if you don't watch like professional dunking and stuff, like a lot of dunks that are better than what NBA players can do, maybe. And we haven't seen a dunk contest ever before. So, if we invite them, I feel like the NBA players would really want to join. Because the NBA players would want to, you know, keep the dunk contest to have an NBA winner instead of a random professional winning the NBA dunk contest. So, I feel like that would bring the best dunkers out if there was four professional dunkers and four NBA dunkers. Another change could be improving the money to $1 million instead of $100,000 for winning the dunk contest. A lot of more superstars might come in the dunk contest if they earn more money. And the last change I feel like is, you know, I feel like Jalen Brown said some NBA players do not want to compete because of you know, Twitter, Instagram, all of that might make fun of them once they do bad or something. But hopefully more NBA players would join and take the leap that Jalen Brown took this year. And hopefully next year we get at least another All-Star to compete. But as we see it, thank you guys for watching. We're out.